as well as the work on Tau that we do and that I presented at Arup. Half of my lab is working on familial Alzheimer's disease and is more um, focused on understanding kind of presenilin mutations, gamma secretase dysfunction. We published some work a few years ago looking at the impact of a range of presenilin mutations on APP processing and AP degeneration. Um, and as you would expect from what we know about Alzheimer's, they all led to disrupted AP production. But it started us thinking about what could be happening with other sub substrates of gamma secretase, because there are many, right? We all focus on APP because of its relevance to the pathology, but of course there are many substrates of this complex. And probably the next most well studied after APP is NOTCH. Um, so NOTCH signaling is really crucial in early neural development. It regulates the transition of neural precursors to post-mitotic neurons. Um, and gamma secretase is, plays a major role in this. So cleaving NOTCH to release the NOTCH intracellular domain, which then goes on to regulate gene expression. And so what we wanted to ask with our model is whether presenilin mutations could impact on that process. Um, with the hypothesis that if notch signaling is disrupted, what we would expect to see is a premature differentiation. So kind of a more rapid conversion of the neural precursors to post-mitotic neurons. Um, and that's pretty, in, in summary, that's pretty much what we did see. So if we, we differentiated ourselves both in 2D and 3D, um, if you include a gamma secretase inhibitor in the cultures, you get this very, very rapid neural differentiation. Um, and of course, in context of presenilin mutations, it's much more subtle than that because it's not a complete loss of function. But we do see this tendency for the cells to become post-mitotic neurons in a more rapid time frame. Um, we were also able to look at this in post-mortem tissue, which is a real strength of where we work, that we have kind of the, the cells and the tissue as well. Um, and it's, it's quite difficult, technically difficult to look at this in post-mortem tissue, but we were able to see that there were fewer newly born neurons in, in kind of our controlled cases compared to our um familial Alzheimer cases. And I think importantly, we only see this effect in presenilin mutation cases and not in APP mutations. Um, because APP is the substrate, so an APP mutation doesn't have an effect on notch signaling. So it's quite a nice way of kind of discriminating mechanisms between the genes as well. Um, of course, what we don't know and what we can't ask of our system is, is this happening in early development in people who carry these variants? Um, and I think that's a really fascinating question. And again, it kind of speaks to this broader idea of these models giving us a insight into the impact of the mutations on development that we couldn't get from any other system.